What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the Cloud Dragon. We have ourselves an Altaria team for ranked regulation G. Now, Altaria, super dope design. What more do you guys want? It's a Cloud Dragon. We love this Pokemon so much. But furthermore, it works in ranked regulation G, considering it has the Cloud 9 ability, which eliminates all weather effects. So if we're going up against Kyogre, Groudon, or even Coridon teams, this Pokemon is going to thrive out. Altaria's rocking leftovers with the Steel Terror type, then a great support move set. Will o Wisp to burn physical attackers, Bulldoze to proc this policy on our Solgaleo. We also got Tailwind, and then we got Roost to get HP back. Loving this Altaria, cannot wait to use it. Speaking of Solgaleo, let's talk about that Pokemon next with Full Metal Body and that Weakness Policy as its item. Like I mentioned, Altaria can pop Weakness Policy with Bulldoze, slowing everybody up besides Solgaleo, and then this thing can go to town. It's got Sun Seal Strike, Rock Slide, Protect, and Psychic Fangs, which breaks screens, so we have a way of dealing with screens Pokemon. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Urshifu, Fluttermane, Incineroar, and Iron Treads. Incineroar, I'm not even going to talk about it. Fluttermane, got the choice specs. Urshifu, going to be super fast with the choice scarf. And Iron Threads, don't use this Pokemon too much, so I want to talk about it. It's got Quick Drive, Boost your Energy with Steel Roller, Stomp and Cantrum, Protect, and Iron Head. If I do remember correctly, Steel Roller does take out Terrain, so that could be a big part of our team. We're going to upgrade and say Terrain Team, like Rillaboom, Indeedy, or even, obviously, Miraidon. Steel Roller can come and clutch for us. Guys, you want to rent the seat for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match using this Altaria team. Before we even hop into match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Cisco Moo. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth, PokePace or Cisco's video, I will be linking it down in the description below. But we're going up against a Groudon squad here in match number one with uh, Thunderous, Gargonacle, who is a pretty solid Pokemon, Rock and Wide Guard, so we got to watch out for that. Then they got Incineroar, Rillaboom, and last but not least, they do have Urshifu. So now when it comes to our lead, I kind of want to lead Altaria and uh, Solgaleo, but my only problem is going to be Fake Outs. I don't really want to deal with Fake Out, but I do want to go into Solgaleo and Altaria, so I am going to end up doing it. If they end up leading um, Groudon, I think I'm just going to protect Solgaleo and try to throw a burn onto Groudon. That would be in our best interest. So I'm going to do that. In the back end, I think uh, Incineroar is going to be good for us. They have a lot of physical attackers. And last but not least, did we go Fluttermane with the choice specs? Especially in Tailwind, that could be really clutch for us. 205 speed? Come on, man. This thing's flying. This thing is flying. Yeah, we gotta go Fluttermane. We have got to go Fluttermane. I mean, obviously, I could go into Urshifu, but I like our team here. I like Fluttermane over Urshifu in this situation. Especially if they set Sun, it's just gonna negate a lot of the uh, Water Surgeon Strikes damage. So I'd rather just have Fluttermane at this point, especially with the choice specs. It wants some damage. It's doing some damage. We'll see who they want to lead here, because I would love to just showcase Altaria, use it really well here in match number one, because this Pokemon's so dope. I feel like every time I played through uh, Hellwind Gen 3, I would always try to get Altaria on my team. It's just such a cool Pokemon, and it's shiny is one of the best ever. It's a gold. It's like almost gold, right? It's got that hint of gold in it, which looks so dope. But they're going to end up going Urshifu alongside with... Urshifu alongside with Groudon. So, I mean, I think a hard swap is probably just in their best interest. Because they're going to go for probably a dark move. They might even go for Precipice Blades, which is scaring me. And I think I'd rather sacrifice you than anybody. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to throw a burn. Originally, I wanted to just protect. And, uh... I originally just wanted to protect Solgaleo and burn Groudon. But with Urshifu on the field, I can't hit through Protect. Or they can hit through Protect. So it's just a big-time problem for us. So we're going to see what they want to do here. We do have clear amulet, but we are going to still intimidate Urshfu. He's probably going for a wicked blow into the Incineroar slot. And he ends up just detecting, which isn't bad for us. Altaria, can you outspeed Groudon? No protect comes out here. All right, so now we can fake out and burn. All right, now we can fake out and burn. So will o -Wisp is going to get blocked here. Um, double protect, kind of a weird play there. We could have bulldozed set up. We could have bulldozed set up. Now I want to see some speed factors here. Altaria, that's something I didn't check out on you. It's your speed. It's actually really solid. 143. It's going to be faster than that Groudon, I believe. I mean, throwing a burn into that slot might be in our best interest. It might be in our best interest. And honestly, let's just fake out Urshifu just so it doesn't move. And we will go for a Will-O-Wisp over into Groudon. 
They might even swap ground on, but no, they end up withdrawing Urshifu. Urshifu gets to withdraw here. Are they going into Incineroar of their own? They are indeed. They are indeed. And if I could just get off this burn on this ground on, it's massive. It's a massive. It's just a massive turn for us. And we'll see a Terra pop out here. Is this a Ghost Terra? This could be a Ghost Terra. This could definitely be a Ghost Terra. It sure seems like it's a Ghost Terra. Or is it Fire? It's Fire. Come on, man. Hurting the soul. Hurting the soul. So, honestly, they're probably going for Crystal Place Blades. That's looking a little tough for us. And we have to get after it that way. So, Fake Out's going to do a little bit of damage. Will Lewis not going to affect this thing. It is a fire type. And he's going to go for a Rock Slide, which is rather smart. Rock Slide going to do a nice chunk of damage. They can fake out my Pokemon. And I think from here, we might just want to hard swap Altaria here. Or not Altaria, Incineroar. And try to pop weakness policy on the Solgaleo here. That's going to be my play. Bulldoze. Solgaleo here. We're going to hope that he's going for Fake Out into Incineroar. I would think they would want to go Fake Out into Incineroar. And probably just go for another Rock Slide. That would make the most sense. And I'm at, they're actually not even going for Fake Out. So I'm going to be able to get off this Bulldoze. We'll see what they want to do here. I hope they're not going for a knockoff into the Solgaleo slot. Because at that point, we just, we're just dying here, right? We would just be dying. There goes our Weakness Policy boost. Let's see what Incineroar wants to do here. Its speed is going to drop, which is rather nice. And Precipice Blades is going to fly. Can you dodge a Solgaleo? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. And they decided to go for Precipice Blades here, which really doesn't help me at all. And actually, my Solgaleo survived. Same thing with my Altaria. This could be good news for us. This could be good news for us, because I'm going to be able to go for Rock Side here. And on top of that, I'm going to be able to Tailwind and set up the rest of the squad. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Tailwind here. I know my Altaria outspeeds. That'll make Solgaleo outspeed. We can drop a Rock Slide, plus two. It's not Stab, but I still should like the damage output on this. I'm hoping for a double KO here. Rock Slide's going to fly. We're actually outspeeding that. And we don't need to pick up one KO, but I like the damage there. Tailwind's out for the rest of the squad. Can we get some flinches? Some flinches would be nice. Any flinches? Nope, no flinches. Actually, we might get one on Incineroar. We need one on Incineroar. If we get one on Incineroar... Oh, baby. Yo, show me one on Incineroar. Give me one flinch. That's all I'm asking for. One flinch. Let's go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. A flinch on the Incineroar slot. So now we can actually go into Protosynthesis here. This is just going to boost our speed. But our speed's fine. I could go into Incineroar, but I'd rather save my Incineroar. Let's, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I'd rather save my Incineroar. I'd rather just save my Incineroar. So from here, I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to Protosynthesis boost. I'm sitting in a decent spot. That flinch was massive. And from here, we're just going to drop a Rock Slide. Actually, we're not going to drop a Rock Slide. I'm going to play this one safe. I'm going to go Psychic Fangs into this slot. Just so I don't miss a Rock Slide. And Psychic Fangs should KO. And then I'm just going to choice in Dazzling Gleam. Because Dazzling Gleam will finish off their Incineroar. Cool. Dragon's just going to protect. That's fine. It's no big deal. That's no big deal. We should have one turn left in Tailwind, right? I think one turn left is where we're at. Or maybe two. But that's Gleam going to pick up the KO onto Incineroar. We'll see who they want to go into from here. We will see. And Psychic Fangs is going to get blocked. So my problem here is if they have another fake out user such as Rillaboom in the back end. That would be where my problem's at, right? There's another fake out. Ooh, looking tough, right? And it is another fake out user. It is another fake out user. So they're going to fake out Sogaleo. I got to see how many turns are left in this, uh... I gotta see how many turns are left in this tailwind. We got two, which is rather well. Rather decent for us. So, honestly, let's just protect you. Let's try to go for Dazzling Gleam at least. Chip up some damage on the roll boom. I like it. I like it. So, we have to we have to protect Soul now. We have to. They might not even fake it out. But still, we have to. Nope, they're not gonna fake it out. So, Grace Guy gonna fly. Wow, do some big time damage. Big time damage, and then these guys are soaking up rather well. So, Crystal Place Blade is going to fly here, and it's going to KO my Fluttermane. So, now we're forced to bring back out Incineroar. Now, Incineroar, a little tough here. It's a little tough because the Grass Train, actually, the Grass Train might actually help us out because we're just getting back some HP. We're getting back some HP here. But now we're sitting here with Groudon. This is just a solid battle. 
Well, this is where it gets weird if they have double protect. Because we have to go for rock slide and... We have to go for rock slide and what's it called? And fake out. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go rock slide and I am going to fake out this slot. So we have one turn left in Tailwind. Roboom can always grassy glide us, but we have to fake it out here. I think there is a shot that they just double protect you, right? There is a shot, but there is also a shot that I actually soak up a grassy glide into my Solgaleo slot. Because this thing is minus one, let's be honest here. Cool, and it is going to take some fake out damage. Can't Rock Slide kill this thing? Can't Rock Slizzle finish this thing off? That's the real question. Can Rock Slizzle finish you off? Plus two? Does not. Close though. Real close. We do get back some HP. I'm terrified of the grassy glide. I could just protect and attack here. But again, Precipice Blaze would just... Oh, dude, Precipice Blaze would just eat me up here. It would just eat me up. Tailwind gone. They have one Pokemon in the back end. I have to go for Rock Slide. I have to hope we can soak up a uh, a Grass Glide. And I, honestly, let's just go into the Fire Terror type. Because that's what we gotta do. We gotta soak a Grass Glide. I'm cool with this. And then just knock off the ground on. We have to land a Rock Slide and soak a Grass Glide. Yep, this is gonna be fine. I'm going straight into Fire Terror. I'm going straight into Fire Terror, because we know we outspeed the Groudon. We know we outspeed the Groudon. So if I can just soak this Grass Glide, land this double Rock Slide, that puts us in a great position. Puts us in a beautiful position. So let's see. There's the Grass Glide. Yes, sir. Fire Terror helping us out. Double Rock Slide land. Double Rock Slide land. Let's go. That's a big time play. That's a big time play. So we take out the Groudon. We take out the Roboom. We did get a crit on the Groudon, but... Let's be honest, it didn't matter. And now they only have one Pokemon left. This is such a good match. This is such a good match so far. So we get rid of the Roboom, we get rid of their Incineroar, we get rid of their Groudon. Did I see their final Pokemon? I honestly forget. I honestly forget. We get back a little HP with Solgaleo, which is beautiful. We have two Fire types on the field. And I don't think I saw their final Pokemon, did I? Oh, I did, it is Urshifu. Urshifu's scaring me a little bit. Urshfu is scaring me a lot of it. I'm gonna have to go for a Sun Seal Strike. And I don't think I can win this match. I think Urshfu just destroys me. Unless they're choosing into close combat. We're just gonna have to double down into this thing. Wicked Blow comes through here. Now, I'm hoping that's kind of choice, right? I am hoping that's choice because if it is choice, we might be able to eat up a Wicked Blow. We might be able to, but if it's not, actually, it's not. It has detect, detected earlier. We're going to lose this game. Unless we get a crit here. Yeah, we lose this game all day. Dang, yo. Urshifu coming in the back end. Going to finish me off and actually win the game. I mean, I do have Citrus Berry, but you're just going to go close combat. And close combat's just going to rip into me. See, it would have been nice if this thing doesn't hit through Protect, right? If this thing didn't hit through Protect, we would just protect the Solgaleo that turn. But it does. But it does, so we were kind of forced to attack. But out comes the close combat. Yep, that's going to be game. Hurts the soul, man. Such a solid first match with this Altaria squad. But our opponent ends up coming out on top. Moving on to match number two. And our opponent got the best of us in that last match. We played pretty good. They played pretty good. Their Urshfu just getting the best of us, like I said. But we're going up against a Mimikyu team. I love Mimikyu. I think it's such a dope Pokemon. They also have me ride on, which is making me want to lead Iron Treads. I can take out Terrain with Steamroller, plus I can do some big time damage onto me ride on with Stomping Tantrum. So I love this. I love this little lead right here with Iron Treads. For our second Pokemon, I kind of want to lead a either a fast Pokemon. Not either a fast Pokemon. I do want to lead a fast Pokemon. So I think I want to either lead Urshifu or Fluttermane, right? Two very solid Pokemon. They do have Fake Out user with... Uh, I think Passimian is a fake-out user, so I might just want to go into Fluttermane here. Fluttermane is just great all around. So, honestly, let's go Fluttermane. Let's go in with Iron Treads. I have to watch out for Mimikyu. Mimikyu could be a nice Trick Room setter. But at this point, yeah, I like both of these. I like both these guys. So, I'm going to go in with both of them. Um, I could honestly just go into Urshifu. Bring Urshifu. But, I mean, Trick Room's looking rather annoying. Trick Room is looking rather annoying. I'm going to go in Solgaleo, and last but not least, it's either Urshifu or Incineroar. And I honestly don't really know which one I want to take. I'm kind of leaning towards Incineroar just because Fake Out is just so massive. So I am going to go Incineroar. Fake Out is just so massive. It really is. Especially if they do end up setting Trick Room with Mimikyu, we can have a Fake Out user to maybe waste out a turn or two in Trick Room. Can't go wrong with that. But yeah, Ursula, look at Scary. It is looking like a scary Pokemon. 
but we're really hoping that it'll lead me right on because I would love to just steamroll, take out terrain. I know my iron treads out speed due to quirk drive, unless you're truly scarf for some reason. They end up going Ursaluna and Mimikyu, which is fine. I mean, this screams that they want to set up Trick Room. So, I mean, I'm just going to rip a Dazzle Gleam and go into a, uh, and go into a, what's it called? An Iron Head. And hope that we can KO. So, we'll do this. Hoping they're not Terrastalizing. They could be Terrastalizing. I could go into Icy Wind here as well, but obviously Dazzle Gleam is going to be in our best interest. This is just protecting Ursaluna with no Terra. With no Terra. This is good news for us. So I'm able to do this. And honestly, Iron Tread's outspeeding. Oh, yeah, with the booster energy. Can this Dazzle Gleam finish you off? I actually don't think it can. Maybe we should have Terrastalized. Maybe we should have Terrastalized. Yeah, we should have Terrastalized. Now they get off Trick Room. Oh, we get the flinch with the Iron Head. I love you, Iron Treads. You're my best friend in the whole world. In the whole world, you're my best friend. You're my best friend. So now we're going to go for Iron Head over there, and we're just going to spam some Dazzle Gleam. Do I Terra Boost? I could Terra Boost. Now I'm just going to stick with the normal. We'll save her, Terra. Shadow Sneak's going to fly. They're going to realize that they can't really set up Trick Room. And wow, that actually does a lot of damage. Iron Head's going to fly over here. Can we get another flinch? Another flinch on deck. That's going to finish off Mimikyu. Do some nice damage to Ursula. Some beautiful damage to Ursula. And are they going for Hyper Voice? No, they end up going for Earth Power. So they need my Fluttermane on the field, which is fine. I mean, I would love to have my Iron Treads due to us being able to take out Terrain. But it's fine. It's fine. I could now go into Incineroar. I think going into Solgaleo could be the play. Yeah, we're going to go into Solgaleo. And we'll see what they want to do here. So I might end up Terrasalize and Fluttermane. Just a big time damage boost coming out from that Fairy Terra. With the choice specs, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go into Solgaleo here. And we'll see who they want to throw out here. Because we still have Incineroar, which is bad. And Ogre Pond's going to fly out here. Ogre Pond. So the Oaks comes out here. I'm just going to rip a Sun Seal Strike, and I'm just going to throw another Dazzle Gleam. I'm cool with this. So cool with this. You could Spiky Shield. Um, I kind of hope you don't, because at this point, we have a chance to double KO. In. And if we could double KO and just leave me a ride on 1v2 and 1v3, in, it's going to be nice. But he's going to end up just protecting the Ursaluna. That's fine, because we're going after this uh, Ogre Pond. So he protects Ursaluna. Ogre Pond going to take some damage. And Sun Seal Strike should finish this thing off. But you're going to end up outspeeding my Sogaleo. So now it's just Sogaleo versus everybody else. Sogaleo. So Sun Seal Strike going to fly here. We still have Terra, which is nice. Um, pick up the KO on the Ogre Pond, which is nice. And then Miradon's going to fly out here. So it's going to be Miradon, full HP, versus my Sogaleo and Incineroar. And obviously they have Ursula. So looking at the situation, if I am correct, honestly, we don't even know if they have the item, but it's just a, a pretty good guess, right? It's a great guess. And they don't have Mirai. Okay, that's even better for us. That's 10 times better for us, because now we're just going to double down into Ursaluna. We get off Intimidate onto a physical attacker. Mirai on not being here is massive. I mean, Defiant is going to pop, which is terrifying. And I think we just fake out the Passimian, right? We have to fake out the Passimian and get rid of Ursaluna. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll fake out Passimian. And they're going to Terrastalize here. Ooh, that's looking scary. Who Terran? That's got to be Passimian. Passimian's plus one. I still have Terra too, but this better not be Ghost. It's Dark, so that works out perfectly. So fake out's still going to be able to fly here. Um, good thing we didn't go for Psychic Fangs in that slot. That could have been tough news. You got upper hand. I'm dead to that, aren't I? Okay, at least I survived. At least I survived. Upper hand on Passimian. That's scary. That's scary. I'm going to flinch here. Sogaleo is going to get rid of you. And now we're sitting here. All right. All right. Weird spot, but Simeon's scaring me a little bit. But Simeon is scaring me. <laughs> this thing's terrifying. <laughs> Luckily, I had the berry. The berry's going to help us out a little bit. And from here, I mean, Sunsteel Strike, obviously, in our best option. I could go Fire Terror. Would Fire Terror help us? Or would I rather go into a Grass Terror on you? I mean, you're kind of low HP. I don't think Grass Terror really going to help us out too much. I think we just go into a Fire Terror. Because you are just a Dark type Pokemon. Yeah, I have to go into a Terror on Sogaleo. He doesn't really handle Dark type moves too well. So yeah, I'm going to go Fire Terror right here. 
On top of that, we are going to try to land a Flare Blitz. Well, he's normally not a Dark type Pokemon. It's just a Terra. So if you are going Dark Terra, it leads me to think that you do have a Dark move. So let's see how this one plays. So we'll go Fire Terra here into my lovely Silver Nail. And Sunsteel Strike's going to outspeed. So we're outspeeding it, which is good news. So this should do more than half, right? Yeah, okay, so it does about half, a little bit a little bit more than half. And Knockoff's going to fly in here. Good thing I did Terrastalize. He's going right after you. Yeah, I would have died to that all day. I would have died to that all day. So he knocks off Weakness Policy. Flare Blitz should be able to come out here, finish this one off. But I'm super surprised he didn't bring me right on. But I think either way, we were winning this match. So, guys, we're sitting one and one. Love that we picked up a win in match number two. But we're looking for that winning record here in match number three. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Chi Yu. That combo is deadly. On top of that, they got Fezendipity, Pelipper, and Didi. And last but not least, they have Reggie Draco. So, the lead that I am most scared of is Chi Yu and Shadow Rider Calyrex. That just looks terrifying, right? It looks super terrifying. And I think we have to try to get off a Tailwind with Altaria. Or I could just go into my Choice Scarf Pokemon. How fast are you? Super fast. I like going Altaria and Urshfu here. I think that's just a solid lead for us. I think that's a great lead for us. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to end up bringing Solgaleo in the back end. And last but not least, can I go wrong with the Floods? Can I go wrong with the Floods? Or do I go Incineroar? Incineroar pretty good here. I think I might go into Incineroar. Incineroar is just such a solid Pokemon, especially going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. Knockoff's really good. Yeah, we're going to go Incineroar over Choice Specs Fluttermane. Even though I love Fluttermane, it did wonders in that last match. I think Incineroar is our guy. So, we're trying to get off a Tailwind with Altaria. We have our Choice Scarf Urshfu for the lead. They don't know their Choice Scarf. So, if they go into like a fast Pokemon, such as Shadow Rider Calyrex, we're just going to certain strikes it. Try to knock it down. They don't have a Pokemon like Tornadus just to boost speed right away. So, that could be good for us. They're going to go Reggie, Draco, and Indeed. Now, this is a little scary. This is a tad bit scary. We do have a Dragon Pokemon out here. And, hmm. kind of wish I brought my, my, what's it called, though? My Iron Treads. Could just take out the terrain. So, obviously, we're going to want to go into probably a Terra type onto Steel here, just for a bit more speed. They're going to look to go for a Follow Me and a Dragon Energy. Which is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. So I think from here we tear out, we do that, and do we U-turn pivot? Do I want to U-turn pivot or do I just want to go into surge strikes here? Oh man, we might just want to U-turn pivot here. I am gonna go for U-turn pivot. I am going to go for U-Turn Pivot. All right. All right. U-Turn Pivot out of here. Uh, Reggie Draco's looking terrifying, man. This could be a quick match for us. This could be a real quick match for us. So we're going to Altaria. Follow me, obviously, to play. They're going to go for Dragon Energy. Yeah, I should have led Fluttermane. Should have brought my Fluttermane. You turning into Fluttermane could have been gorgeous. It could have been so nice. Now I'm more forced to go into it sitting over here. Which the Cinnaur is going? Might just die out here. This is just getting ugly. Hmm. So we're going to do Cinnaur. We do have Snarl with him, which could be could work wonders. Uh, going to Cinnaur. We are going to intimidate, which does absolutely nothing on these guys, and we'll see a Dragon Energy fly out here. Actually, we get off our Tailwind first. Good work. Good work, Altaria. There's the Dragon Energy. You guys soaking? Yes, do soak. Good news. I get to eat up a berry. I get to throw a snarl out. So snarl can help us out. Um, hmm. I'm going to go into a snarl. And what do we do with Altaria? Do we just roost to try to get back some HP? I think that's our best option. Let's just try to keep Altaria alive. Go for snarl. Go for roost. Yeah, he's just going to go for a follow me. I'd rather go for roost than bulldoze here. And the Cinnaur should be out speeding. Especially with that Tailwind. With that Tailwind, baby. We do. Awesome. So Cinnaur flying out here. Doing a little bit of damage onto Indeedy. More importantly, getting that special attack drop on the Rich Draco. Earth Power going to fly here. Altaria soaking. Cool. Cool. 
So now do I snarl again? I don't think so. I think we just bulldoze. Actually, nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna go for Will O' Wisp into you. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff into Indeedee. They might swap. They end up going for Follow Me. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so they end up going for Follow Me. Probably going for maybe another Earth Power here. Try and take it out in Sin War. Which I don't mind. And who just dodged? Indeed, he just dodged. That's fine. It was just a burn. You were dead anyway. So we end up taking out Indeedee. Most likely going for an Earth Power into its Sin War slot this time around. And you're gonna stick with Dragon Energy. That's fine. Altaria's staying alive. Altaria staying alive. Now I can bring out my Solgaleo in this Tailwind. And I can go for a Bulldoze. Ooh, I got Tailwind set up. I go for Bulldoze, slow down everybody, except for my Solgaleo. We can start doing some damage. So let's see who they throw out here as their next Pokemon, though, because it's going to be Calyrex. And this, is a, this is a little scary. This is a tad bit scary, because I don't have Terra, and I'm pretty sure I just died in this. I don't know what to do. Protect? Let Altaria die? How many turns left in Tailwind? One. We're gonna protect and we're gonna bulldoze for speed. We're not even gonna pop weak this policy. We can't. We can't. We can't pop weak this policy. We're gonna slow them down. We're gonna bring out our Urshifu. And we're gonna try to have Urshifu clutch up, but of course they end up just protecting this Calyrex here. But I mean, Urshifu gonna help us out tremendously. We're gonna hope that certain strikes can maybe just pick up the KO, but they end up just double protecting. I wish I had the last turn Tailwind. And this sucks, man. This sucks. This puts us in a terrible position. Whereas Calyrex can just win the game. Oh, man. Yeah, Calyrex is just going to go to town on me. He ain't playing around. Calyrex is not playing around. I got to go for double protect. I think that's our only way of winning. Do we hard swap an Urshfu, maybe? Urshfu's going to die to, like, a dragon energy. This is not good. We got to go for a Tailwind here. I think I have to go for a double protect. I'm going to go for double protect. I think that's our only, our only option here. And I miss it. And I miss it. Yep, there goes Astro Barrage. So Sogaleo dies out here. Altaria probably dies out here as well. Yep, and that's going to be double KO. So, tough third match here. What are you going to do about it? Shadow Rider Catholics just getting the best of us. We tried. Maybe should have swapped an Urshu, but it was just not good all around. Because Altaria wasn't soaking up the shot. I need them not to double protect there. I need to slow them down a little bit. But they played that one real smart. Real smart. So, not a bad set of battles. I mean, first match came down to the wire. Could have went either way. Second match, we ended up coming out on top. And then third match, Shadow Rider Calyx just dumping on us. Not going to sugarcoat it, right? Never sugarcoat it over on this channel. But still, love using Altaria. I think Altaria is just such a dope Pokemon. And I think it's fun for us to just use other off-meta Pokemon. But I'm going to run this one. GG's to our opponent. Not the best of battles, but at least I got to showcase Altaria in today's video. One and two, losing record for today's video. Haven't had a losing record in a while, so can be thankful for that. But I loved Altaria. I love Solgaleo. They're definitely off meta, especially with Iron Treads as well. A little bit of off meta action never hurt anybody. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.